Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh, so I take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. What's going on you guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another Tiger Muay Thai vlog. Today um, marks shit how long since I've been back? I'm just gonna sit down here guys. Um, it must be about a week and a half since I got back from Thailand. Yes about a week and a half. Um, today's video I want to discuss injuries because there were a few and there was actually one particular one that I brought back with me from Thailand believe it or not but actually in saying believe it or not you probably would believe it because there's all sorts of bugs and there's not just bugs over there there's super bugs because what I've found is that antibiotics in Thailand are thrown out like candy and what that means is that you know for a bug to overcome antibiotics um, they need to become a superbug and what I believe I, I got uh, a couple of days before leaving Thailand was some sort of mosquito bite which usually would come up in a bit of a welt and, and go away um, that didn't happen this bite got worse and worse and um, basically what I think happened is I, I scratched it whilst I was in Thailand I must have got some sort of bug in there and then honestly like literally whilst I was flying back which was, oh my god, that bird just gave me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> Whilst I was flying back, I, you know, I could see this thing on my leg get worse and worse and worse and worse. And I thought, what is going on here? Um, so I got back to Alice Springs. I was extremely worried. It was blowing up like a bite. It looked like a spider bite. I'd had one spider bite in the past. And the longer you leave it without doing something about it, that the more it's basically just going to start eating like your flesh right at the end of the day so uh, that's basically what what started happening to me so I got this massive um, I guess it looked like a boil but at the end of the day something something bad was going on under, underneath there and so uh, I ended up going to the emergency room you know they took a look at it they gave me some antibiotics and and sent me away they didn't you know take a swab they didn't cut it open nothing like that so I went away I went home all good got antibiotics felt at ease three days go by I'm taking my antibiotics but nothing's happening it's getting worse and worse and worse you know this is because there there was an infection under there and they didn't it, it needed to come out it needed to, to, to it needed to be cleaned out so basically it was you know producing this is disgusting but pus and it wasn't stopping coming out, it wasn't healing over, you know what I mean? Like on a spider bite, it doesn't heal over because there's something underneath it. So you need to really clear that out, you need to literally cut it open, clear that out, and then try and let it heal. Because when you've got a mixture of blood and infection coming out, it doesn't heal, you need just blood. So what happened was, after three more days, I woke up, actually over those three days, progressively, this red mark start, it's, it's on my it's on my leg by the way here it is right here so this these these red marks started slowly creeping up my leg and um, you know me being sort of a, a hypochondriac of sorts I thought that this infection which is exactly what it was doing it was spreading up my my veins <laughs> you know towards my my groin where my um, Oh, what do you call them? Lymph nodes were, were swollen as fuck. They were so sore. And here I am in my brain, not really understanding what's going on, seeing these fucking red marks slowly but surely come up my leg. Pains were coming up my legs over those three days, and I thought, nah, man, something is going wrong here. This infection is going to fucking infiltrate my heart, and I'm going to have a heart attack. You know, I was really panicking. I was panicking big time. So I went back in. This is, you know, after being back for... For, for four days, being on the antibiotics for at least three, I went back in, showed them it, and he's like, nah, okay, yeah, that, that looks like something's going on. We're gonna have to clean that out. So, uh, that's exactly what they did. And anyone with a spider bite or an infected bite will know that's what happens, but, you know, it was, uh, it was a little bit scary, I suppose, but, you know, the, the doctor, I will say, here at the Alice Springs Medical Center put me at ease. They numbed it. 
they cut it open, they squeezed everything out, and then hoped that with another course of antibiotics um, it would heal. And I will say that literally within a couple of hours of them cleaning it out, the dull achy pain started going away. The red marks started literally, you know, receding back down my leg. And within two more days, um, everything started healing properly. And so here I am, um, basically on my last day of antibiotics, and um, I'm not going to go back into the, the hospital because I, I, I do believe that it is healing, thank God. But basically, guys, that was, that was a little bit of a, an injury, I suppose, of sorts that I brought back from Thailand with me. And um, if I hadn't have gone into the, the hospital when I did, it would have just gotten worse and worse. And if I hadn't have gone in a second time and got it cleaned out, I don't, I don't think it would have healed properly. So, you know, listen to your body. If you think something's going on, go in and get it checked out. That would be my recommendation. Now, before these flies go in my mouth or something worse, I'm gonna head inside and continue talking in there because one thing I won't miss, guys, is the fucking flies here in Alice Springs. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I will show you what it's looking like. That's it right there. As you can see, the, the skin is like still peeling off from the outside. That was a whole lot worse. And then up here, these, you know, basically the, the I assume the red was inflammation going up my veins towards my um, uh, towards my towards my I can't remember what they're called lymph nodes that's the one okay so and, and that's what was happening the lymph nodes started swelling because it's fighting fighting an infection and the infection was spreading up to my lymph, lymph nodes and that was the point where I really panicked and I had to go back in and and lucky I did because you know, like I said, once they cleaned it out, it was all good. Now, we're talking about injuries. Uh, this video is not, you know, meant to go that long, but it probably is. Look, I'm just talking about injuries that I received whilst training in Thailand. Uh, that one wasn't training related, but it was Thailand, definitely Thailand related, and something that I think you should all be concerned about. Lo and behold, it happened a couple of days before I was leaving. Honestly, it really started swelling up bad whilst I was traveling, so I knew that as soon as I got back to Australia, you know, I'd, I'd go and get it checked out and I'd be in good hands. Now, if I was in Thailand and, you know, I was having to take antibiotics and stuff, I'd be a little concerned, you know, it's not where you want to be. You don't want to be in a, a country like that where you're sweating all the time. There's all these bugs around with, with open cuts, and, and I, I've learned my lesson, to be honest, because I had a couple of other cuts um, on my feet that got infected also but thankfully I don't know if, I don't know if it's because I, I took the antibiotics um, for my other issue but it, it seemed to help the other cuts as well and so they've sort of healed up now but the main one was was right on the top of my foot right right there and there was another one on the inside of my toe which is finally healed but basically that one on the top of my foot was really was it was bad it was bad to be honest. I, I honestly I can't remember how I did it. I think I must have like scraped it along the bottom of a heavy bag or something. But it opened up a cut. I took a day off training. It, it healed slightly, and then I went back to training. And I started hitting, like kicking the pads and kicking the bags. And and that first day, I, I pushed through the pain. Basically, my first kick, it, the scab came off. Right. So you got an open cut, and I'm I'm doing a Muay Thai class. It hurt like fuck, but I continued. I let it heal over for another day, I came back, I hit the bag once, it fucking hurt, the scab didn't come off but I was like nah, I can't be doing this, I, I, can't, I can't open it up again or else this will literally never heal. And lo and behold, it fucking never healed. I got back to, I got back to Australia, it's been another week and a half and it's still not healed. And I think what happened was, you know, it was actually quite deep, it was a really quite deep cut. and. I guess usually you might have got a stitch or something like that, but what needed to happen was obviously the, the tissue needs to start growing from right at the bottom of it, and I just never gave it a chance to heal. So what I would do next time to, to you know stop that from even happening in the first place is get some of those ankle 
and foot sleeves. Now, I never saw them before I started training, but I did see a few people with them on, and I thought, it's going to protect your foot, um, but I'm tough. You know, I, I, can, I can deal with a few cuts, but at the end of the day, if you do get a cut, and it's not healing properly, you have to take care of it, and it's going to put you out of training for, for days, you know. If I wanted to continue kicking with this foot, I don't know how I was going to do it except for put one of those sleeves on my foot. And I never did, but that's definitely a recommendation that I would, I would give you. Another one of my injuries was a, uh, some tendonitis in my Achilles tendon, which I treated with anti-inflammatories and ice spray, which I got from the pharmacy there. Um, literally, I had the symptoms for 24 hours and then they were gone, and I haven't had any since. Now, I don't know if that's a bit of bruising that happened or what. I mean, I was really, really surprised with how quickly the pain um, went away and I was really happy that I actually pushed through that pain to train on the day that it was the worst Because you know if I had have had a day off training Thinking that this was going to give me trouble for days and days and then it went away the next day I would have felt cheated. I would have thought fuck I just wasted a day of training So I pushed through that one and I also pushed through the one on my foot But it didn't work out too good for me. So anti-inflammatories if you do get any sprains or you know anything like that company that accompany that with either an ice pack or some of this ice spray um, and just continue treating it until until the you know inflammation goes away that seemed to be a really good fix definitely if you do get cuts cover them okay cover them I'm the kind of guy that that doesn't like covering cuts because it doesn't let it you know get air to it, it doesn't let it dry out I, I hate doing it but at the end of the day when you've got bugs like that you know going around everywhere and in bacteria and everything like that you should be covering your cuts and so uh, moving forward, I definitely do that. Um, try and stop them from happening in the first place by wearing the uh, the ankle sleeves, foot sleeves. I don't even know what you call them, but um, they're definitely effective. I guess the only other thing that really held me back was um, you know dehydration. Honestly, that's just on you, and it was on me. And basically, guys, when you're in a place like that where it's so humid, um, and you're training as well. You know, it's not easy. You're going to start sweating within a minute and it's not going to stop until about an hour after you finish. So you're sweating buckets and you may not feel thirsty, but your body needs that water. And basically it's just a matter of, you know, being onto it throughout the day. You've got to continue drinking, continue drinking water. Even when you're not thirsty, just keep drinking it because it's going to catch up to you. And you'll wake up in the morning having not drank much water the day before and you'll wake up with a headache and it's like, fuck, I didn't even drink last night and I've got a headache. Are you kidding me? And basically, it's, it's just hydration. It really is. That's, that's another thing you've got to keep on top of. Um, you, you can get sachets from the chemist of uh, electrolytes, a flavored orange flavor or, or tropical flavor. I only had those in the last few days, which is probably my bad. You know, I was sweating. I was sweating a lot. But if you're not taking back in those electrolytes and, and sodium and things like that, then, you know, your body is, is going to be feeling it at the end of the day. So that, that's important. Uh, make sure you drink a shitload of water. Basically, you go to 7-Eleven, you get a 1.5 litre bottle for, for 14 baht, which is 65 cents Australian. And uh, you just have those. I mean, it is a bit of a, a fuck around, having to go down to the shop and buy these big bottles of water and bring them back to your room and put them in the fridge. But once you've done it, um, you know, there's nothing worse than being in your room and, and not having any water to drink. And you're feeling thirsty and you know you just need that on hand all the time that would be a recommendation and now my last recommendation would be just don't push yourself too hard you know take it easy uh, don't go and and smash yourself with two or three classes on the first day you know I'd say just do one it's a two-hour class see how you go literally do one on your first day and on your second day on your third day, you can start ramping it up. But I'd say on your first and second day, just do one. Make sure you're, you're staying hydrated. Make sure you've got all the gear that you need. Um, and just have fun, man. Have fun. Embrace it. It's an amazing experience. I, I loved it. I loved the trainer that I was working with. Um, you know, I'm a complete beginner. Absolute beginner. No expectations. But yeah, it was a two and a half weeks of... of something I've, I've always wanted to do and um, I definitely definitely tick something off the bucket list uh, whilst there so I'm happy about that and I hope that you've enjoyed the videos I hope that 
If you are thinking about doing it, um, I hope that you tell me down in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram. My channel is not just about rugby, it's not just about bodybuilding, it's not just about football, it's not just about reactions, it's about all sorts of shit. It's about me, my life, what makes me happy, what makes me tick. And um, it's about being honest, open, transparent, and bringing my experiences and my thoughts to the world through the power of YouTube. And I fucking love it. So, what do we got? Injuries. Uh, my Achilles tendon, that was fine. Cut on my foot. Definitely keep it covered or try not to get cut. Um, bites, make sure you keep them clean and then you probably won't have to deal with what I did, but I didn't keep mine clean and so it blew up completely. Um, I would say, you know, health insurance, travel insurance, I didn't have either, okay? So I got through it, thank God. You may not be as, as lucky. I was riding a scooter the whole entire time I was there. I got a motorbike on the second day. Um, I rode it with no shoes at times. You know, I always had my helmet on, but at the end of the day, man, I could have fucked up my foot if I fell off. So be safe, be happy. But I think if you are staying in, in Thailand, around Soi Taid, Phuket, Tiger Muay Thai, you, you, you know, you could be training at any of the places along the street. There's, there's a multitude of different places, but if you are training at Tiger and you are around that area, you'll know what kind of vibe it is. It's an amazing vibe. Fitness, fighting, and the land of smiles. And um, make sure you take your smile because you're going to need it. Okay? So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.